EAA 304, Highway Engineering Laboratory. Ductility Test Welcome to Highway Engineering Laboratory. This video describes step-by-step -step procedures to conduct ductility test for asphalt binder. The ductility test for the binder is conducted using ASTM D113 standard test method for ductility of asphalt materials. The ductility test measures asphalt binder ductility. The ductility is measured by stretching standard sized briquette of asphalt binder at a specified speed and specified temperature until it breaks. The stretched distance in centimeters at breaking point is noted as ductility value. The ductility test is vital to ensure good adhesive property of asphalt binder and its ability to stretch. In asphalt mix, the binder should form a thin ductile film around aggregates, so that physical interlocking of the aggregates is improved. Asphalt binder with insufficient ductility tend to crack when subjected to repeated traffic loads. Objective To determine the ductility value for asphalt cement, the ductility test is used as a measure of whether or not ductility is present in the asphaltic binder and the road pavement. This condition is important to avoid occurrence of crack that will cause the failure of pavement by fatigue under the action of repeated loads. The ductility test for asphalt binder requires the following apparatus. Ductility testing machine Mold And thermometer Procedure Initially, heat the asphalt binder until it has become sufficiently fluid to pour onto a mole, known as briquette. Then carefully fill the mole with the heated asphalt binder. The excess asphalt binder is cut and the surface is leveled using a hot scrapper. The prepared specimen is 10.2 mm thick and the width changed from 20.4 mm at the end part to 10.2 mm at the center. The distance between clips is 43.2 mm. Let the mall containing the specimen cool to room temperature, and then place it in the ductile machine. Ensure that the ductile machine is filled with enough water. Maintain the temperature of the water at 25 degrees Celsius throughout the test. The sides of the molds are removed. The clips are hooked on the machine, and the machine is operated. Pull the specimen horizontally, at a uniform speed of 5 cm per minute. Measure the distance in centimeters, through which the specimen has been pulled, until it breaks. Thank you for your time. If you have any questions, do not hesitate to contact us at sarg.usm2011 at gmail.com.